Hi guys to my videos. I hope you enjoy this lecture. Let's continue. So today we'll be running a C out statement. So basically what I'm gonna be C outing is a string hello world in MIPS. But so the so the way I'm gonna have this course lined, so I'm gonna do C plus plus I'm gonna have C plus plus code already written. Already written. And then I'm gonna try the C plus plus code in MIPS. So I already written my C plus plus code. Here's my C++ code, and uh, should run. Hello, world. as you can see, it outputs hello world. So we have our main. We have C out hello world and endo. Endo means stop. Go to the next line. So these are the library iOS stream library and using namespace std. These are library only used for C++. So IS library is used to show some show something on the compiler. I mean to the output screen. So we don't need these libraries in MIPS. So let's start writing our MIPS program. So first thing you want to do is you want to open Mars IDE. This is your output screen. Let's minimize this for now and let's make a new file create a new file by clicking on this button and let's save this the reason why I would like to save this first is because if I don't save this file it won't assemble I could write the program and save it later but I want to save it first because much better for me so I'm going to save it on my documents Go to my documents, save this file, save it, and here the file's been saved because the name of the file has been updated. See, I have a world. So let's subtract the screen, subtract the screen. I subtracted the screen in half so I can see my C code while I'm doing my MIPS code. So there are three things I'm going to explain to you first in MIPS. Let me write them down. Dot data. Dot text. Main. Main. So you guys are probably wondering what is dot data. Dot data is a section where your variable lives. Yo, but when I mean variables, I'm saying like arrays and strings. So dot dot sec data section is. Okay, so in order to write a comment in MIPS, you need to do a pound sign and start writing the comment. Dot data section is where your variable lives. When I mean variables, I'm saying array. When I mean variable, I'm saying I'm saying arrays and strings. So on the other hand, dot data section is where your functions lives and your main function lives. Dot text is dot text section is where where your your main function function and other functions live. So I hope this makes it clear for you. And what is main? What this main is known as a label. So it's a starting label. For example, in C++ this is a starting function. So over here is the same thing. This is a starting function in MIPS. But over here main is known as a label in MIPS. But it's a starting label. So let's start writing our code. For example, you can see here they did in C++ that they see out hello world and uh, and L. So basically they wrote down the string and they displayed in this on the output string. So it's kind of different in MIPS. So the first thing you need to do is you need to store hello world into a variable. When I say variable on data section I mean a label. So for example I'm gonna store it into str store into str under dot a s c c i z Z. So basically, when I say dot, 
a s c c i z asic i'm saying store the string in the data segment what this store the string in data segment means is this string is going to live in the data segment and it's going to be stored into str it's going to be stored in str and it's living in, living in the data section and it's set to null terminator so we can write hello world and now here this line of code basically means that hello world is set in str so let me write a comment for you guys so I'm not losing you guys while I'm doing this so here, uh, here st actually here hello world string is stored stored in in str so main so let's go to main so our main would so what do we do need, need to do that what what would you do next so so what I would do next is I would do well I'm teaching the course so I'll, what I will do next is that I will load an address of load an address of str in t1 so basically I'm saying this an address of str contains in t1 so what LA means is loading an address. So I'm loading the address of str in register t1. When I say register t1, it's mean that it's a temporary temporary register where I'm storing storing the address of str in t1 right now. So here, let me show you in a CPP example so you guys understand more example. Let's say we had a string named str in C++ and which was equal to which was equal to hello world. Hello world. Hello world. And uh, and we have another string. Another string. Or a char. Another string. Let's say another string was temp. And uh, in order for me to have hello world in temp, I could just say address of str. So this will have address of str. Temp will hold address of str now. This is basically what this line of code is doing. This line of code is here. So I'm just going to move this comment for you guys over here. Actually, I'm going to do the comment right here for you guys. Okay, so basically what this does is it says str temp equals to str. So now we have the address of str in t1. First we stored hello world in str. Now we get the address of str into a register. Sorry guys, just let me make sure that I'm doing this right. And yeah, so the next thing we'll need to do is we need to do load immediate shift v0 comma 1 and then we need to do actually not comma 1 4 and then we need to do is more shift a0 comma shift t shift t1 and then we need to do syscall all right you guys are probably wondering what is this so let me explain it to you so when i say load immediate when i say load immediate i'm loading it loading the value of 4 in v0 v0 is a system register it's a special type of register which is only used for the system and by the system for example let me show you a c++ example so example we had an int system register system register system register and when i do when i do li when i do li sv0 Four. I'm basically saying system register registers equals to four now. Basically, I'm initializing system register to four. In system register, in MIPS is v0. So what will happen when I load four into v0? Basically, what will happen when I initialize v0 to four? So basically, what this does is it sets. So what it does is the system register system register gets set gets ready to print and 
string. Remember, the system is going to look at v register v0 and it's going to determine what value it contains. By determining the value it contains, it's going to do that operation. So right now I'm saying load immediate. Basically, I'm saying basically I'm saying load a value of immediate of four into v0. Basically, I'm saying system, please be ready to print in a string. So the next line we will do after this is that so it will be move as I already written it already down move s0 t1 so what I'm doing here is I'm saying that saying that uh, a0 is equals to register t1 so I'm saying that whatever content content of t1 is just move that into a0 what is a0 a0 is the argument register so let me show you a0 all right just hold on one second guys I guess I can do this something so as you can see a0 is the argument register a0 is the argument register so what do I mean by it's an argument register for example hello world is a passing value so basically I'm passing hello world into a0 a0 is an argument so I'm passing an string argument in a0 then what the system what the system called is going to do is going to here let me rewrite this so you can guys understand this better system call as you can see what this is in Mars sys call issues a system call executes the system call specified by value in v0 Remember, it says execute the system call specified by the value in v0. So, for example, the current value of v0 is 4. So, basically, it's set to print a string. So, now right here, this code will print, st print a string. But remember, in C, the cur closing curly brackets stops the program. In here, the program is not stopped by, there's no curly, clo there's no closed curly braces here right now. We need to write closed curly braces. In order to do that, we need to write our exit. So, in order to do that, we need to write li shift v0 comma 10. When I assign 10 to v0, I'm telling the system, I'm telling the system, look at v0. V0 equals 10, which means please exit now. When I do this call, it's going to look at the value of v0, which is 10, and it's going to execute that's it's going to execute that system call, which is exit now. So let's compile this and run it. In order to assemble, we need to click on this assemble sign right here, or you can go to run assemble. But uh, I'm gonna do it from here. Before we click on here, let's pull our output screen and uh, go to uh, click on assemble. And you can go to edit or you can stay on execute. As you can see here, uh, as you can see, it says assemble, complete assembly operation, complete successful. That means there are no errors in the program right now. So we want to click on run IO. We want to see what it will output. And we click run. As you can see, it prints hello world. Over here, it prints hello world because it's an endl. When it's an endl, it says go to the next line. And if I were to do the same thing here, I can just go backslash n and rerun, assemble the program again. Assemble the program again and click go to run IO and click run. As you can see, it's the same output now. Hello world, program is finished running. Over here is it was the same hello world, process finished with exit code zero. And that's it. This is the way you output a string in MIPS. Thank you for watching the videos. Hope you like the lecture. See you in the next section.